Our weed of the week is just an annual. It's giant ragweed, so Darren, it should be easy to control. Well, unfortunately, Roundup <laughs> is failing on this weed in many areas of the country, so you just gotta get after it with your pre-emerge program. In soybeans, we like our three pre-strategy with one of the yellows, Authority or Valor, and Metribuse, and that's been effective. Then post-emerge, I like the new Enlist soybeans where I can use 2,4-D. I like the new Extend soybeans where I can use Dicamba products. I think that's the best option. Hey, for you it. forgot something, Darren. First rate. First rate can still work if, you, if your giant ragweed is not ALS resistant. So you could use first rate either pre-emerge or post in soybeans. All right, in corn, uh, we talked about atrazine earlier in the show. I like that in my post-emerge products. Uh, I like it with some of the HPPD products. That'd be a cheap way to go post. You've got to start out with something tough, though, pre-emerge on it. I like Verdict, but there are a lot of good choices. Yep, and post-emerge status or an HPPD would be fine, and again, spike it with atrazine. In wheat, we don't normally have a lot of giant ragweed problems, but we would start with Sharpen and come back with a high rate of Husky. In non-crop areas, we just tell you Dicamba and 2,4-D can work pretty well on this. Try to get it when it's small. When it gets big, yes, it's a lot more difficult to control at that point you may not even kill it with anything. So stop it early, use good strong rates, and giant ragweed won't be a big challenge on your farm. It's all time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.